Hi everyone, my name is Tina and I'm a product manager on Google Play's app safety, privacy, and security team. Today, I'm going to talk about Play's new data safety section and how we're working to improve data transparency to users. So why are we even talking about this? This image captures what many of us may have felt at one point or another. We know there's a lot of information out there about apps, the data they collect, handling, security practices, and more. It could be hard for any user to find this information, read through it all, and make sense of what it means. When we talked to users, we found that this sentiment was pretty spot on. There is an overwhelming amount of information at varying degrees of ease to find if a user wants to know more about an app's data practices. For example, one of our research studies showed that over 75% of US users found data collection either not at all to only somewhat transparent. We believe we can and should do better. We heard from users that there is a lot of information to navigate, but we also wanted to understand what would be most helpful to them. So when we asked, users told us that they care most about what information is collected about them, how will this data be used, how much control do they have, and what security practices are keeping their data safe. Here's a quote from one of our users we spoke with. We know that data and security won't be the only consideration to a user, but our goal in making this information more discoverable and easy to understand is that users can see it and use it to make more informed choices about the apps they install. Keeping users safe is core to what we do on Android and Google Play. As we iterate on our products and policies, we continue to build on an existing foundation that supports user trust. Here are a few of our guiding principles that we want to provide users with. Transparency and controls around what data is accessed by apps across different touch points in a user's journey. Data minimization, which refers to limiting the scope of data that's accessed to what users really need. You play a key role here in ensuring that data that your app accesses is actually needed. Last but not least, there's data security. That includes measures that you and Google take to keep apps and user data safe. How can we provide more privacy and security information in a helpful way to users? You may be wondering, well, that's where you come in. We know that you and your teams already have a lot on your plates. So I wanna share why this matters to your app and your users. There are already several ways that you engage users about data privacy and security. Your app may have a privacy policy. It may surface a prominent disclosure within the app or it may prompt a user for consent through a runtime permission. We want to build on these existing measures within the app and within context that help users understand their data access. But we want to focus on before the point of app installation. This is a moment where users are looking to learn more about your app, its benefits, and what they could expect in terms of data of theirs that may be collected. We're really looking to complement all the activity and engagement that happens within the app. Research shows that the more informed users are, the more likely they are to engage. For example, one recent study showed a decrease by over 50% of the deny rate by users when permission requests were provided with an explanation. We want to provide relevant user data and security information so that users can make the right choices for themselves. So let's take a look at a quick video about the new Play Data Safety section. Cool video, hope you enjoyed it. Let's take a closer look. We're adding a data safety section on the Play Store, which will describe what data is collected, shared, and the security practices that are followed. Our goals through this new feature 
are to support users making informed decisions about the apps they install and use, and also to give developers a canvas to showcase their approach to privacy and security. The new feature will highlight developer practices such as whether the data is encrypted in transit, whether the app has undergone an independent review of security practices. It'll also provide terms that are simple and avoids jargon so that we're maximizing user understanding. It'll also allow for relevant and helpful contexts, such as if collection is optional. These are some illustrative examples that are subject to change, but let's walk through what this looks like to the user. At a glance, users will see a summary of key information, such as if any user data is collected or shared and whether the data is encrypted in transit. Users can click in to learn more. When they do, users will see that this information has been provided by you, as well as some context that actual data practices may vary. Users will be shown this information in two clear categories, what user data is collected and what user data is shared with third parties. The Play Help Center provides more information about these terms and how to complete the data safety section. A user can click on a specific data type to see an expanded view, which enables them to get more context of interest to them. Users can also get more context on purposes, as well as if the collection is optional. If your app doesn't collect or share any user data, you'll still need to complete a data safety section and we'll show users that your app doesn't collect any of their data. While we want everyone to complete this new form by February 2022, when users can start to see it in the Play Store, if you're still working on it, this placeholder is what will be shown to users. I'm gonna go through a quick illustrative example of what you could expect. Say your app collects user location data and it collects and shares users' health information. Both of these data types would need to be disclosed in your new data safety section form. You can make these selections for your app under App Content and Play Console. Here, you'll be able to disclose app level selections, such as if the data is encrypted in transit, as well as specific user data types that may be collected and or shared along with the purposes. We heard from other developers that being able to replicate forms across multiple apps would be helpful. So we're also supporting the ability for you to import your information through a CSV file and the ability to copy over a disclosure across multiple apps when they have the same collection and sharing practices. Now, I'm gonna hand it over to Rustin to share more about policy updates and resources. Thanks, Tina. Let me touch on a few policy updates that have accompanied the data safety section. First, Play's user data policy has been updated to state that you must fill out a data safety form in the Google Play Console for each one of your apps, and you're responsible for the accuracy of the section and keeping it up to date. Also, please make sure your information is consistent with your app's privacy policy. And speaking of privacy policies, the requirements for privacy policies have been updated too. Now, all apps must have a privacy policy link in Play Console and post a privacy policy in the app. The privacy policy should accurately disclose how your app accesses, collects, uses, and shares user data. And for more details on what a privacy policy must include, things like privacy point of contact, data retention and deletion policies, you can see the user data policy. So as a reminder, every app already has a target audience and content section within the Google Play Console. And this is where you declare the age ranges of your target audience. Well, with the new data safety section, apps whose target audience include children, they'll need to declare that they follow Google Play Families policy. And then when we launch the data safety section in Play Store listings in February next year, or shortly after that launch, we'll highlight if the app is committed to follow our families policy. Well, you might be wondering, what is the Play Families policy? So the Play Families policy is a special collection of requirements that apply only to apps who include children in their target audience. And some of the policy highlights include things like only Google Play certified ad SDKs should be used to show ads to children. So Google Play certified ad SDKs are these ad SDKs that have self-certified their compliance with special ad SDK certification requirements. And apps targeting kids should also avoid any other SDKs that are not approved for use in child-directed services when the user is a child or of a known age. And the remaining policies can be found in the Policy Center. All right, this might be a good time to remind apps targeting children that the data practices section of the families policy was recently updated. So when it comes to identifiers, it's always best to use resettable IDs. And now this update prohibits the use of certain device identifiers. Starting April 1, 2022, apps targeting children must not transmit the Android advertising ID when the user is a child or of unknown age. 
Take a look at our new Help Center article to help with your compliance efforts. Thank you so much for your time today. We will leave you with just a few quick parting thoughts. First, if you need any more information, please check out our Help Center at the link shown on the screen. And second, this might be a good time to start to get to know your SDKs and how they collect and share data so that you can fill out your data safety section properly. Then last, for timeline, developers can start declaring information in the Google Play Console today. Then users will start to see the labels in February of 2022, then developers will have until April of 2022 to declare their data information. Thank you so much for taking this journey to improve privacy and security with Android.